was a sight for my soul. Finder back here. I'm gonna show you how to tie up soft plastic baits and like you know how to rig them up. Different types of rigs, you know. All right, the first rig is gonna be called a wacky rig. So all you gotta do, grab your worm, bend it in half so like the two ends are touching, and you just wanna hook it right through the middle, just like this. And there's also a tool you can buy online. It's called a wacky rig tool. And then. Alright. Then there you go. It's supposed to look like that. The hook will hang off like that. And you just slowly pull through the water. It should be balanced on each side evenly. Alright, for the next one you want to get a offset hook. I use 2 watt. And just any kind of soft plastic. All you want to do. You want to see that barb right there? You want to put that in to here. You want to put that in about to get a little bit past the barb and pull that out right like this. Pull it up to the top. Put it on the offset part of the hook. Sorry. Once you get that, put your thumb right where the hook ends, so right there go like that, put it through pull it perfect, look at that and this is weedless too so all you gotta do to make it weedless is pull this up go forward like that perfect, completely weedless now, pull it through any weed it will not get stuck okay this neck rig is called a drop shot rig see I got a drop shot weight at the end And one of these little, um, uh, ball barrel swivels, I'm sorry, there we go. So all you do, you use any type of line, this is 30 pound wanna, just get a long piece about two foot, remember you could always trim this, don't cut it too short. Tie a hook right in the middle of it, any, any hook, it, equal, it has to be like, I used a two aught thin wire hook, and then I used just a curly tail worm. Tie that right in the middle. You don't have to tie it. Well, I tie this right on so that whenever I'm at the place where I'm going, I just tie this right to my line. I don't have to go and tie this all while I'm there. I just tie this before I go and then tie it on right when I'm there. At the end, get a, I don't know, this is probably like quarter ounce. That's all you need, quarter ounce. Just so it gets to the bottom. And it should stay in there just like this. And then whenever... It should be just moving really slowly in the water. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, guys, you can also rig your soft plastics on a jig head called a shaky head. Now, shaky head has a little spring on the end. All you do is you twist your senko, crawfish, you know, anything, brush hog. Tie that onto there. And you twist that on, and you rig it exactly the same as a Texas rig, except for this time you're screwing the bait onto the spring. And there will be a picture on the screen right here. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of like how it's rigged. And I usually use this for places with rocky bottoms. I just like feeling it hit the rocks, and it's much easier to feel the hits. Alright, I'm going to show you the last way how to rig it. Uh, soft plastics right now. Okay, the last thing you can do for rigging your soft plastics is using it for baits with trailers so for example jigs spinners anything really that needs a trailer all you gotta do is slip it on the hook and throw it out there and the baits good to use alright guys that was my last hack I'll put all kinds of pictures of them getting rigged on different baits such as spinners jigs buzz baits just stuff like that alright I'm out see you guys I'm a side, 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 I'm a